Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter. Boom, 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 boom. All I want to do is take a nap, review stuff, and I am back for another review. I am sitting right outside the Target in this princess parking space. I know everybody wants me to leave so they can have this space, but they can just get over it. Because I'm making a video, see? All these people are walking by. I just got done. I had to run into the Target to get a few things. Well, to really get one thing, and then I ended up spending $21. <laughs> That's cheap for me, actually. Usually at the Target, I spend a lot more money than that. But anyway, I bought something else to review. I don't know, maybe later in the week. I just got back from going to uh, the pool with my, uh, here's my pool bag, with my uh, good Judy Tanya Jean. We just went to the pool. Here's my towel down here on the floor. <laughs> I have to do a, a laundry load of towels tonight. Anyway, so I thought, well, I'm going to stop by the Target on the way home because I love the Target so much and get some things. Hold on just a second here. Let me put my wallet back in my bag. Um, I was like, I'm going to stop by the Target on the way home and I'm going to uh, get some things. And I thought, well, maybe I'll find something in there to uh, review as well. I was actually looking at, I love this lip gloss so much with... Uh, a little bit of a suntan on my face. Now, if you notice this uh, hair right here, this is my uh, Darlene Jolene Joe. Now, if you watch my vlog, this is my cousin. Her name's Darlene Jolene Joe. She sometimes comes out after a nap, you know, or a swim at the pool. She's 50 and she likes to kick. I was just thinking about this the other day. You know, I've been saying that on my videos for a long time now because it's from that lady, you know, on Saturday, I think Saturday Night Live or Mad TV or whatever. She always says, I'm 50 and I like to kick. And I was like, you know, next year I am going to be 50. <laughs> and I do like to do a high kick every once in a while. So anyway, so anyway, I thought I would go into the Target because I had read on TotallyTheBomb.com that Starbucks is releasing, you know like how they have the cold Starbucks drinks? Well, they're releasing like the pumpkin flavored one, like the pumpkin spice latte. They're releasing it and you can buy it in stores now, like at the gas station and stuff, you know? So, okay, and I saw that Target, uh, some Targets already had it. So I was pretty sure my Target wouldn't, but I was like, we'll go in there anyway. My Target does have a Starbucks though right there, okay? That's where people like line up outside to buy the cups. I did it one day. But anyway, so I was in the Target. Well, the other thing that I saw on TotallyTheBomb.com was that they had pumpkin flavored noodles in a cup. And I was like, Oh, I'm gonna try these pumpkin flavored noodles. Hell, I couldn't even find the noodle aisle. I walked up and down the aisles of Target. I couldn't even find the noodle aisle. Everything's so healthy in there. I don't think that they have that. This grocery store at Target, the Target in Fishers, Indiana, 116th Street, they try to be so bougie and so like fresh, you know, market and all that kind of stuff that they only have like the healthiest of foods. I don't think they have noodles in a cup over there. I'll have to probably go to Walmart or the Meyer for that. But I do love noodles in the cup back in the day. So anyway, here's my Starbucks cup that I'm using for the day. To the, I took it to the pool proudly today. I was so happy about it. Okay. So today, I am reviewing something that I loved back in the day, and I haven't had them in a really long time, and their sister counterparts. So, this is actually a really big container of these, um, which is interesting because I don't love things that are super, super, super spicy, but I do love wasabi on, like, sushi, and yes, I do eat vegetarian sushi. We go to this restaurant in Indianapolis called Blue Sushi. They have, like, 12 rolls on their menu that are all vegetarian or vegan. And I do love wasabi. I also love wasabi in poke bowls, which if you want to see a poke bowl that my husband brought me recently, it's over on my Peter Does Stuff channel. The video is called, My Husband Brought Me a Poke Bowl. <laughs> and people say I clickbait. So anyway, um, the, these are the hot <laughs> wasabi flavored peas, wasabi flavored green peas, okay? Now, if you have never had these, you can all, also buy these and they're just like, sometimes like the deli has them and things like that. But this is my favorite, is this brand called uh, Hoppy, like Poppy, <laughs> like me, but pop, but Hoppy, okay? And uh, these are so, so, so good, you guys. Okay, so when I was in there, I saw these, and I have never seen these before. And these are the spicy sriracha flavored peas. Now, my husband, I'm telling you right now, he loves sriracha, and he loves hot sauce of any kind. He thinks these are so gross. And I'm like, whenever I've, I've like, please try it. He's like tried like one in his entire life, and he thought it was so gross. Um, I, this guy that's walking right over here right now in my car, oh, they're gonna walk like right up into this car or something, aren't they? Look, paparazzi, seriously? I thought that that guy was the guy on TikTok that does um, 
what do you call it, all the funny Starbucks things. I guess he's not doing them anymore though. He used to work at Starbucks and he'd get in his car and complain about all the people that worked at Starbucks. Okay, but my husband thinks these are so gross and I love them. They're so, okay, so they're calories, 140 calories, which is about a third of a cup, and 4.5 grams of fat, 19 grams of carbs, two sugars, and five proteins. Okay, so not entirely the most unhealthy uh, treat in the world. And so I wanted to try these. Chili garlic flavored green peas, sriracha, this is the same brand, the Hoppy Snacks, spicy sriracha flavored peas. I wanted to try these because I had never tried these. I had never seen these. I didn't know anything about them, right? And these are, are they different than these? Yeah, they're not as bad. Okay, 130 calories for a third of a cup, uh, for one third cup, 3.5 grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs, uh, four sugars, and four proteins. So, I don't know, I guess they're kind of equal. So anyway, I wanna try this. Oh, and I had to get a bottle of water. I wanted to get some kind of special water in there, but they didn't have any, okay? I mean, they did, but you'd have to like walk through. By the way, my mom used to love to go to the Target back in the day because she'd get a free bag of popcorn and walk around. I'd be like, oh my God, Mother, you always have that popcorn at the Target. Do you remember Target back in the day? This is when, they, do y'all remember that store, Ben Franklin? Okay, well, we had a Ben Franklin. I loved that store. They had this paper doll thing there that was Alice in Wonderland, and I wanted it forever. I wanted this paper dolls forever, okay? This Alice, I would just go there and just look at it. I loved it because I love paper dolls so much. I have a Miss America paper doll that's actually worth something today, okay? It was the Vanessa Williams paper doll, Miss America. Don't think I don't have that at home. I do, secured very tightly down in my basement, okay? I was gonna give it to a friend one time and then I thought better of myself. So anyway, I thought this is maybe not a moment to be a good citizen and a good friend. You might wanna keep this, it might be worth something someday. And then one day I came home and I had had a real bad day of school or something. I can't really remember, but anyway, my mom had bought me those paper dolls. Wasn't that so sweet? So anyway, but then they turned the Ben Franklin into uh, a Target, a Target mall. And my mom loved it because she would get the free popcorn. They had this big thing of popcorn that you could go there. Do you remember that? Look, <laughs> it's shaking bacon, I hell. My friend, True Story, Tanya Jean, she has one of those things that you go like this. She bought it online on like QVC. That, you know what I'm talking about, those things like that. She says, it really does tighten up your uh, biceps. I'm like, Tanya Jean, and just sits on her kitchen table. She hadn't picked it up in a month. So anyway, a month, a month of Sunday, she hadn't picked it up in probably a year. So my mom loved to go around the Target and get the free popcorn. It was so embarrassing. I was always like, Mom! Oh my God, I just remember this one time when I was in sixth grade, I was at the Target with this girl and she stole some makeup. And I was like, you don't steal makeup. Even though one time when I was like in elementary school, me and these two girls that I was friends with, I guess it was like fifth grade maybe, the year before, we used to steal candy from Reasoner's Drugs and then I felt so bad about it that I, we had to go back and we would act like we dropped it on the floor and then we put it in our pocket. <gasps> and then I got in trouble about it and my dad told me, he said, when you steal things, that was the only one time I had ever done it. And the only time I ever did. My one good duty back in the day, every one of his cologne bottles said tester on the bottom. I was like, <gasps> he stole testers. He would put his shirt way down then he would go and... No. So I used to do this, well, I did it like I think one or two times, stealing candy from the Reasoner Drugs, my two girlfriends and I did it. And uh, like when I was in like fourth or fifth or sixth grade or something like that. And um, my dad got, I got, I got caught and I had to go back to Reasoner's and I had to pay them back and I had to tell them I was sorry and all because I was afraid I was gonna get arrested. Oh my Lord, I was so scared. And my two girlfriends were like, why'd you get us into trouble like that? Because I just, I, my dad told me like if you steal, then the prices of stuff go up and that you're not a good person, you're not a good citizen and I didn't want to be that. So anyway, and then this girl I was with, she's, I didn't even know her that well. We weren't even that really that good of friends. I think we met up at the mall. Do you remember going to the mall back in there? But anyway, she stole this makeup and I said, my dad told me that if you steal that makeup, that your prices will go up. You know what? That girl, she got into so much trouble in high school and stuff like that. It was probably a good thing I wasn't friends with her. <laughs> I, I didn't know her later in life. I didn't claim her. We didn't know each other because I saw she stole that eyeshadow. She, first of all, she was wearing eyeshadow long before she probably should have been. And second of all, <laughs> we, maybe we were in third grade. I don't know. But second of all, she didn't even bat an eye. She didn't feel bad about stealing that makeup or anything. I felt so bad about with those sweet tarts and those those candies is where they Nikos or Nekos you remember those back in the day oh my god I love those so much I felt so bad about stealing that kid she didn't feel bad at all she slipped that right in her little purse that she had oh my god lord look at this person walking in there they look like a vampire or something like that I wonder if they like are right I used to meet vampires all this video has gotten okay anyway I used to meet people at the Perkins restaurant when I would go there with my good GDs and they'd always wear like all black and have black hair and you know and stuff like that and real like white powder on their face and they'd say they were this was after Anne Rice's books came out and they said that they were vampires and uh here I'm gonna open these while I'm talking and uh 
<laughs> that could scare you. They, true story though, they said they were vampires and they were always writing books and notebooks. <laughs> we're gonna be the next Anne Rice. They weren't, okay? None of them were. It didn't happen for any of them. So this is what they look like. I'll show you. They're pea sized. <laughs> Do you see? They're so good. They're kind of addicting, but they are so hot. It's literally like they're just dipped in wasabi. They're so good. But I would say, this is part of what I like about it. On the intensity level, they're about an eight, nine. <laughs> Woo! Seriously, they do, though they are. But it doesn't last real long. That's what I kind of like about it, you know? Right. Green peas, glutinous rice flour, wheat flour, ah, horseradish, palm oil, sugar, sunflower or oil, <laughs> oral. <laughs> I mean, I am in Indiana where you are, sir, close. Salt, FDNC yellow. Number five, I think that means bad stuff, probably. FDNC blue number one. And it contains wheat, just want you to know. Okay. So that's the wasabi peas. Those are so delicious. I forgot how much I missed those. Now I'm going to try these wasabi sriracha flavored peas. I'm real excited about these. I haven't had these before. Woo! Be very careful with these things, though. These will cut you. Okay, here they are. Oh, it smells just like sriracha sauce. This is interesting. So here's what they look like. Oh my God, these are so good. I was so hot though. Woo! In a weird kind of way. Oh my God, they are so hot. But like, I don't mind them. Like, I really like them. In a weird kind of way, they taste like. I love when people are walking and somebody about backs right into them. I'm like, did you not see that woman walking right behind you? She don't care. Look at her. Rude. Anyway, they kind of taste like, oh, they are so hot. Not these two men walking over here, but they are. <laughs> His shirt says Muscle Beach. I'm like, yep. <laughs> oh, God, these are hot. They kind of taste like really, really hot barbecue chips or something. Let's see what kind of car he drives. Oh, a new... Uh, he got in the back seat. Why are these two guys getting in the back seat together? Family friendly. Tinted windows. What is going on here? It's like watching a movie, I got treats and everything. <laughs> oh, is there somebody in the front seat driving? Is it an Uber's? That was the most weirdly thing I've ever seen today. <laughs> today. <laughs> you guys, these are so good. These are a five out of five. I don't know which ones I like better actually now. Let me try them and see. The vampire just came out of the store. Something's going on over here with them. They're pulling something out of their car. <laughs> Ooh, a bag of ice. God, my mouth is on fire. You know, I could tell you, I really didn't think this would be the case. I love the wasabi peas. I love them. But I have to tell you, I like the sriracha so much more. 
Oh, I didn't even get a thumbnail. I love the sriracha so much more. I don't know, I've been really into like barbecue chips lately. So maybe that's why. They're really good, you guys. If you like spicy hot treats, they were $4.49 each for these cans. And you don't, you're not gonna eat a whole can at one setting. I mean, maybe, you know, but anyway. All right, I'm gonna get off here now. I'm gonna go home and uh, film some other videos. So let me know if you've tried those before, what you think about those. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.